we know, as, as, as you know, uh, that electromagnetic is what the body is. We just mentioned that, but now we'll make it large in this statement. Uh, everyone in the world, in all forms of medicine, even conservative mainstream Western medicine, know you're electric. And proof of that is that when we diagnose you in allopathic medicine, mainstream medical doctors, they diagnose you electromagnetically. What is an MRI? What is a high-speed CAT scan? What is an ultrasound? On and on it goes. We're checking the frequencies, the biofrequencies of the organ systems of the body or whatever other system you're, you're saying, picking up literally on a screen the electrical uh, frequencies. Now, with that said, we have here, uh, as of about a year ago, over 900,000, almost a million dollars worth of electromagnetic equipment that we brought to this country from all over the civilized world in, from mainstream medicine. And electromagnetic therapy is used in hospitals and doctor's offices in, in other parts of the world where uh, people are more important than profit. And uh, as, as much as socialized medicine in its current model may not work, it's certainly much more compassionate and civilized. And the objective in most of these countries, uh, in Europe, et cetera, is to help people get well because it's less expensive that way. Here, because the mainstream pharmaceutical industry has literally, literally control the agenda via their agents in Washington, uh, no matter what side of the aisle they're on, they literally have made it so that uh, they don't want socialized medicine that's going to squelch their profits. For instance, if you go into England, a quite civilized country comparatively in healthcare, uh, and you were prescribed 50 tablets, by one doctor and 100 tablets the next time by another doctor, when you go to the chemist or the pharmacy, it costs the same. Did you know that? So the oh. farms know that. <laughs> they, they, if you, you were told you need 150 tablets, it would cost the same as, as a 50 tablets. They know that, so they want to yeah. hold it back. So what, what we have to know is that the electromagnetics have been pretty much in lock, stock, and barrel held out of here. Now, we use them as therapeutic machines here at Hippocrates to expedite neuron activity, electron activity, red blood cell development activity. For instance, they are approved in this country only for two things. Everywhere else they're approved for a lot. Postoperative healing, that means after you have been having surgery and it doesn't heal from medicine, okay, okay, the medicine hasn't really worked, so rather than let you die, we'll let you use electromagnetic. And the second thing it's approved for is fractures, major fractures. An elderly person or somebody else really cracks their bones. It's not healing well. The electromagnetic can do it. Now, why these two things should be impressive to the listeners today, these are the two most difficult things that are ever dealt with in medicine. If you cannot heal these things, they finally say, without saying it, we succumb to the fact that electromagnetic really is more effective than chemistry. So if we diagnose you uh, electromagnetically, then why do we treat you only chemically? Now, there's a place for chemicals, by the way. But why do we treat you only chemically? Well, why? Because that's where the profits are. Yep. We honestly do know you're electromagnetic. So with that said, we do a lot of that here. But at the bottom of all of this is nutrition. It's not mm -hmm. basically the slick things and all the wonderful things and all the impressive things that I can talk about and other people. That lulls people into thinking that there's some magic's involved. It's really how you think, number one, how you eat and how you exercise. I have never worked with a person with fibromyalgia who follows through and does not recover. 100% of these people will recover. It, does it take a lot of work? Yes. Is it hard? Yes. And do most people have an inability to follow through because they really loathe themselves and don't like themselves? Unfortunately, yes.